Hey, just wanted to show you this uh, pretty cool internal resistance checker from Turnigy. It's pretty neat. Um, it's got uh, a slot for eight cell battery checker. The only thing that's kind of a pain is it's an XT60 um, connector. So I actually made a uh, a uh, an adapter for it so that it would work because obviously I use EC5 so you're going to have to make something. But I uh, got a freshly charged 6S5000 pulse battery here. Um, you know, one thing I've noticed is that the uh, <clears throat> the internal resistance, that's the numbers off of uh, my uh, iCharger Duo 308. Um, so that what that is is 12.2 total. 2.96 is the highest uh, IR, and that is from cell 6. <clears throat> so, but obviously, depending on the temperature of the battery and stuff like that, it's going to depend on how uh, how much resistance there is in the battery. But basically, you just hook it up. You don't actually need this, uh, this cable here. It'll work without it. It makes it a little easier to plug in, not a big deal, but this is going to add resistance. So if you check internal resistance, you're obviously going to have to do it the same way all the time. But, uh, yeah, so this actually adds resistance to the... Uh, to the uh, value. So, but there's just a little uh, button right here. You just press it and it comes up. Gives you the voltages of each cell and then gives you the uh, and it's pretty consistent. So, like I said, you know, this says 2.2, but that one's 2.9, uh, 2 but cell 6. But again, you know, it shows that that's the highest. Um, cell six is the highest uh, internal resistance, so you can keep track of it. It's pretty nice. Uh, like I said, if you take it, if you take it out, take out the uh, if you take out the uh, the thing, the uh, lead, and just put it in directly. Into the into the charger like like so, then try to do it again here. So still shows about 13 uh, milliohms, uh, with number six still being the highest. So like I said, it um, if you do it one way, I would do it the same way all the time. But, uh, and this Turnigy power station seems pretty legit. Um, I'm liking it, digging it. Um, I had some extra uh, XT60 uh, connectors, so worked out pretty well. Um, like I said, uh, you can just disconnect it then here, and, uh, or just, you know, use the power button to turn it off. Hope it helps.